it's something I've never experienced before. I've never seen anything like that before. And sometimes you don't always appreciate what you see, but having the artwork there, it made you appreciate the work that goes into the art, but it also made you appreciate the landscape that you see every day, you see it in different lights, because you're actually looking and seeing rather than just looking. I thought um, the spear was actually the waves, but then when I saw the hoops at the end, I saw that it, it wasn't the waves, it was actually the reflection of the spear shining down on the lake. And then when you looked at it from like the Turner seat on a, on a bright sunny day, and as it misted over or as it became dusk, it, that was one of the places to be, seeing it at different angles. And then as the copper changed colour towards the weekend, the, the brightness went slightly dull, but then it blended in with having it floodlit. And on a night, it was in the dark, it was just spectacular. The brief was to make a direct connection between elements of the museum's collection and this site. And the museum has a lot of Bronze Age relics and discoveries, many of which have been found in and around Lake Samawater. And their prize find, it's a beautiful preserved Bronze Age spearhead. So that was the kind of crux of the whole commission really, kind of referencing the spearhead replacing it in the site where it was found. Suggestive of that anyway. And it, it's produced in a kind of chain mail like fashion, um, joined one to the next, a kind of effectively a curtain, like a, something to describe the form, but also to create a kind of interesting optical um, experience when you're inside the structure, um, which partially conceals, but partially reveals the environment just giving people awareness of how things are made because I think that gets lost up nowadays isn't it you know such a um, you know such a sort of throwaway society that you don't really see anybody making anything it's just it's just something that arrives um, you know and yeah a lot of things are mass produced but you know it hasn't always been like that and so for people to be able to see that that process um, and lots of activities surrounding that you know and then you know with the installation as well it um, yeah you know people people talk to that nicely I, I think it made a lot of people, myself included, really um, realised that, yes, people were there f a long, long time ago, you know, and, and surviving quite nicely with uh, their own rituals and things, and this was almost a, a bit like going back to that. The, the spear like many more ancient artefacts, uh, there's that mystery of who held it, who lost it, what was it used for, was it used in, in anger, and um, uh, also the serendipity of just, just finding it uh, at the shore of the lake by someone um, you know, much later on in time. It was a bit dim lighted at the start and then once it got into the evening and the light, I saw the sun reflecting on it and the water. So it looked very, very um, like it was actually real. Looking at it on the shore, it's a very, it was a very impressive structure. Um, and it was particularly so when it was lit up at night. I could hear the wind um, going through like the gaps, so making them tinkle. Like, and then the fairy lights were very attractive. They, they got people's attention in the corner of their eye because it just was like everywhere. And at night, the bronze rings looked like they weren't bronze; they looked like they were silver.
felt like you're walking on wobbly ice cubes, or like <laughs> everywhere. Whether you're, you know, whether you're a kid who's 10 or a kid who's 50, it doesn't really matter, does it? You know, you, you, could, go, you could go along and bounce it up and down a little bit. I could um, imagine it being part of the landscape. I, it just, it grew inside of you from being little and uncertain at the start to every time you came over the hill and you saw the sphere and the reflection, it, you know, it just made you stop. Because you could actually walk along this, as I say, you did get this sense of feeling that you were walking on water. I, I like the sounds best because it just like a ship, but with lots of clangy things, like a fishing boat taking nets up. Sounded a bit like that, so I thought, well, these sounds are very attractive. The time of year as well, with it being autumn, the real changing of the seasons and the copper plated picked up on what was happening in nature at that time just showed things so from a, a totally different perspective something we'll not see from that point of view again I don't think you forget something like that when something on your doorstep so unusual happens and in certain lights or especially when it's becoming dusk and you go over the hill and you can just picture it, it it'll stay with me for a very long time.